This one is C8H603 and that has six double bond equivalents. What we see here is an aromatic ring 5H, so that would be a C6H5, it's in the 7 to 8 region. We have a 1H here as well, and that's going to be an OH because it's 1H broad, single peak. And what do we have left over? We've got two C's, two O's, and two double bonds. That's probably going to be two C double bond O's. And those are the correct pieces, so now we can put it together. And in reality, there is only one way to put this together and that's to put the C double bond O groups here and then the OH on the end. Now this matches because we have an OH attached to a C double bond O and if we look at the correlation chart that's where we expect to see those. Those are in the uh, 11 to 12 range. That's what we've got here. So this will be the correct structure.